My name is Autumn Earlbeck, and I am a singer-songwriter. I was adopted when I was five years old, um, and I came from a background of parents with drugs and alcohol abuse. Um, and I came into my adopted family um, with a deep-seated lie that um, I wasn't loved and that I wasn't lovable. Um, and I was adopted into a Catholic family. And I remember the first year when I was adopted, uh, going to church with my family and the deacon, it was a Good Friday service and the deacon is walking up with the cross and chanting and I looked at my mom and I was like, is he an angel? The music, um, and I was always compelled by music from the time I was very small. I started writing music as well when I was 16 years old. Um, and my music comes from a place uh, it's the words that I can't um, seem to get out when I'm speaking to people, um, but it's a way for me to express myself um, and feel heard. And I'm humbled to say that last year, um, I was 30 years old, I'm married, I have three children, and I went to a Good Friday service. I, okay, I'm sorry, I never connected this, I'm so sorry. So my first, like, Sorry, this is like an out loud process and you don't have to put it, like my first encounter was a Good Friday. And, yeah, um, sorry, <laughs> I never realized this. <laughs> I know I'm loved. So in a very quiet, um, very quiet way, venerating the cross, um, last year I came to know the love of Jesus. Um, the personal love of Jesus that wasn't for the collective, but for Autumn, as I was, who I was. And the reality that the cross isn't just a rescue, it's a love story. And I came to life. I hadn't written music in six years, and then just it's poured out of my soul ever since. Um, and so for the first time, I'm following love. Uh, you know, I followed for a long time the gospel, the word of God, but I'm following love for the first time, and that's what I sing about. That's what I write about. That's what I want to share, um, because he's real, and he's tangibly real. And um, I feel fiercely, fiercely want others to know they're not alone. Um, I want them to know that brokenness is beautiful and that it's actually what the Lord uses. We don't have to be together in this box of perfection. Like we, uh, you know, Jesus has been able to use me in my brokenness and he can use you in your brokenness. It, it doesn't take away from your value. Come on, come home.